Bum, bum, bum. Radio Atlantic. This episode two. So today is the 22nd of December. It's a Friday. It's 2 p.m. And um, I'm here having. My name is Yannick. I'm radio moderator since two days. And I'm having the pleasure to have an interview with um, Danny Schleicher, who is rowing the Atlantic Ocean with the Yang Brodung. <laughs> and um, so we had the same, the same pleasure yesterday. What's in your head today? I feel very dry today, which is good because my body is dry. And that is an amazing feeling. First time I had dry feet in forever. I feel great. <laughs> Some, if some other people feel dry, they are missing something. But that he. <laughs> okay, next question. <laughs> um, how many hours have you rode today? So, I've done two hours, pretty much every two hours, although I think last shift from Yannick was a little longer than two hours. So, uh, in total, I will probably not be able to do the full 12 hours today. But yeah, that's pretty much the status today. Yeah, we, um, as an information, we, we started the race with saying that we do two hours each all the time. So it will be six shifts at 12 hours per person per day. But for us, we figure that it's nice to have a bit of flexibility. So sometimes I do two and a half hours and then he does one and a half hours. Sometimes I sleep in and then he does a bit longer at night. And uh, yeah, we found quite a good rhythm to, um, yeah. Don't feel pressurized yeah, by the say, time. The rowing part is uh, the easy part. I don't know, not the easy part, but it feels good to just be doing something and uh, be moving. So I quite enjoy rowing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for me, I'm, I started listening to audiobooks. So whenever I row, I listen to the audiobook. And the, the free time, you kind of have to think what you ha want to do. And especially now that the sun is up and it's probably 28 degrees, you're not really sure what to do. And uh, when rowing, it's pretty clear what to do. But I have to say that for me now, my uh, body gets more and more sore. Not necessarily that I get blisters, but... What pain do you have? Uh, so the biggest pain I have is that I'm missing my parents and uh, my girlfriend. But uh, no, obviously my body pain... So my, I don't really have pain. I just feel that, for example, my uh, hamstring. No, no, the other the quads. The quads. quads yeah, yeah the, the quads are getting tight a bit. I've spent a lot of time kneeling, which usually my knees don't like that much. Yeah. So that's about me. What's about you? Uh, I have blisters, so that is uh, the most, well, painful, and my bum is still not really healed up. I have a few salt sores on my bum, but uh, now I can feel my back a little bit. Like, it's not painful, it's just I feel that I'm using it more. More than usual. Yes. More so, what, what, what was your, what's kind of what kept your moral height today? Just knowing that earlier I started to clean and dry up my cabin a little bit, uh, that's really nice. Uh, we have to say maybe uh, that we kind of changed our system a little bit. Uh, Yannick moved into the forward cabin, so the stern cabin will be more or less my cabin. And since today is a fairly dry day, everything is a little bit drier inside the cabin. I can. I have uh, dry socks on. So these dry socks actually have been probably my biggest moral boost today. What was yours today? So let's just state that the cabin is not only getting better because I moved into the forward cabin. Obviously <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> not. But yeah, yeah, that is right. So for me, um, that's a good question. 
I haven't thought about that. I should think about questions I ask beforehand. Mm. I have to say those. I'm listening to Ken Follett. The, there's this. Uh, Oh, the Pillars of the Earth. I don't know the English titles in German. It's on the Erde von der Mitte Ewigkeit and Tore zur Welt. And I'm really, really looking forward all the time to continue listening. So that's really, really nice because it kind of keeps me forgetting the time. And we have a big milestone coming up today. Yes, so um, since we are so such experts in our uh, passage planning, we put in our next waypoint, which is directly Antigua. <laughs> um, and it's exactly 2,005 miles until we hit Antigua. So we we'll, soon will be under 2,000 nautical miles. Which is crazy. I mean, you start with a bit short of 3,000, and now it's less than 2,000. And I just hope it's correct what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah, I hope as well that we put the right island in. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, and um, maybe one one last statement um, from your side, Danny. If you would tell one song to our listeners which they have to listen to today, which one would it be? So, usually I would say Flowers from Miley Cyrus, uh, but today I would say Kate's Brother from Macy Peters. Maybe you've heard it before. It's a no. song uh, from Macy Peters. She sings about how she met... So her friend Kate uh, has a boyfriend called Tommy, and they both go to her um, Halloween party, to Maisie's Halloween party, and Kate brings her brother from Canada, which we all don't know her na his name, but uh, Maisie falls in love with, uh, with Kate's brother, and it's an amazing song. I'll show you later. It's, in, it's very good. I'm getting some cultural education later on. So from my side, if you would have to listen to any song today... I would say it's uh, uh, Old Johnny from Jan Delay mm, uh, to a bit funky. So, thank you for listening to Radio Atlantic episode two, and uh, we're wishing you a very, 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 very nice day. And uh, make sure you buy your Christmas presents very quickly. Yes, Christmas coming up. Bye-bye.